Hello, my name is Matt Wyman and I'm the author of Oink, My Life with Mini Pigs. Mini Pigs came into our lives really because my wife went online and saw an impossibly cute picture of two tiny creatures and just completely fell in love with them. Um, it was really a kind of an unstoppable force. I've always known that, that she has wanted a big family. Um, I just always assumed that that stopped with children. We've had you know, the hamsters and the fish and then that kind of graduated into cats and, and then the dog and, uh, and then chickens. And then she saw these two, two pigs online and um, her heart said yes and her head didn't really say anything at all. And so Butch and Roxy came into our lives. I was looking at the two little pigs thinking this is an unusual situation to be in that we've got two pigs in the house and I thought maybe it was something that, that I'd like to write about but I wanted to make it a, a, more than that. I wanted to write about family really, about family life, about what it is that holds everything together. With any family household you, you kind of have um, ways of managing things and it's always sort of on the, on the cusp of chaos. Um, as soon as Butch and Roxy arrived that things just descended into, into chaos and catastrophe um, to be honest. Um, we have a dog who is um, very big, um, very unruly, and because we had very little children when the dog arrived, the whole house is kind of divided up into to pens, if you like. It's all, it's all divided up by child gates. And so to keep the dog from the kids, keep the kids from the dog, and then you throw in two small pigs into the mix and you have to keep the dog from the pigs. So I had the dog stationed behind, behind bars, if you like, so that I could get on with work and I had the pigs in with me, but I hadn't factored on the fact that the pigs were so small they could get between the bars. Um, so I had one horrifying moment where I saw first one pig and then the second pig slip between the bars. And then I, I basically stood there and watched them bond. And um, within minutes they, they were all cuddled up on, on uh, Sessie's bed and uh, they've been very tight ever since. 